What is up, FIFA commenters? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. If you're new on this corner, you know how it goes. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, do let me know if you're enjoying FIFA at the moment. Boys, can we reach 160 subscribers on this channel before the end of the week? That would be sensational. That would be incredible. This card is, to me, boys, the best card ESports has released. The most incredible card they've released in SBC since the start of FIFA 23. In terms of value, in terms of usability in-game, he is absolutely insane. And I will tell you exactly just why. Let's start where we start. He's born in Endoven in Netherlands. And he actually graduated the youth system, the youth, system, the youth uh, academy of EVV Endoven. From 2016 to 2019, he was with Young uh, PSV, 26 appearances, 17 goals. Then from there, of course, he moved to PSV, the main team itself. 2018, from 2018 all the way till now, 100 appearances, scoring 35 goals. That is pretty good, boys. That is really pretty good. And you see him on the screen there with uh, with the legend, uh, Rude Nisteroy. And yeah, sensational player. Very good coach as well, uh, coaching the team, and very interested to see how this player does in the future. Uh, he's from actually Togolese and uh, a Ghanaian descent as well. Now, moving on to this, this, the player we have on screen, Cody Gakpo, six foot two, fantastic, high medium, fantastic. He can absolutely play as any forward position, and I repeat, no, not any, two specific forward positions as a left winger or as a striker. And the reason why is because he has four star skill, four star weak foot, and he's six foot two dominant in in the space very tall and that's going to help a lot moving on to the player attributes look at the pace the pace is absolutely broken 88 acceleration 89 sprint speed we don't have that many players with that height that have a minimum of 88 in terms of acceleration and sprint speed the shooting on this guy is also very good 84 attack positioning 85 finishing 89 shot power 86 long shots you know how crazy the long shots are in fifa this year you absolutely know it so he's going to be very very good the passing is also good right he can absolutely play as a winger because you see that crossing of 88 you see that curve of 83 you see that long pass of 73 that is very very decent at this stage of the game the vision is good the short pass and the long pass are very very decent for somebody who's going to play as a winger or as a striker the dribbling on this card let's talk about that he is high in average body type let's keep that in mind but at this stage of the game that's not going to be an issue and the reason why is because like i was saying earlier that agility that balance that's very decent that ball control of 87 that dribbling of 89 for a six foot two player that is absolutely insane like i was saying high and average body type plus so that's the only thing you really need to keep into consideration don't dribble too too much get the ball run to the goal score the physicality is also pretty decent i do like the physicality and i'll remove this screen here the physicality at 80 80 uh four stamina 82 strength very low aggression very low aggression i would have loved that to be a little bit higher but that is very low but that's not an issue esports is probably going to provide us with another card of gakko in the future where that is improved and quite significant uh, he doesn't have any jumping no heading accuracy as well he does have the finish shot the outside the foot shot and that's 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 really what you need at this stage of the game right if he had chip shot that would be uh the third one but he doesn't have that he has technical dribbler as well which is good cpu aided and then team player and the reason why i was saying that the value is so good is specifically because of this it's 84 overall one panel you need two uh if, if the game will show it to me you need uh, two players 85 or higher one dutch uh land player and that's pretty much it a 43 one two uh, very classic formation, a bunch of midfielders. I'm going to give you a secret right here. The reason why I think also Gekko is so good is because of this card that you can find in the objectives. If you've completed your level 15, if you've already reached your level 15, boys, this objective is waiting for you right there. If you were, you know, debating, who should I pick? I don't know. Definitely not this guy. Definitely not Nyakate. You have to go with Kasan. Giro, Casanuido, I think Casanuido, I think that's how you say it. This guy can be moved into a CDM position. He's Dutch, he plays in the uh, Dutch league, and it's just perfect. It's just perfect. It, you have a CDM who's very pacey, who's strong, who can defend, who can be very physical, and you can combine that with the striker uh, version of Gakpo, a left winger Gakpo, whatever you, wherever you want to place him, this Gakpo card with that uh, a right back player is just a perfect combination for somebody who doesn't have that many coins right now who just started fifa who wants to have a solid team boys let me know in the comment section below if you've enjoyed this episode and let's try and reach 160 subscribers before the end of the week drop a like subscribe catch me another one for the player review peace out